Hello out there cats and kittens, this is Cookie Kunai signing off. Are you a fellow VTuber? Uh, do you just like working as your avatar? Or maybe you want all the features of motion tracking but don't want to have to deal with any extra peripherals. Well, I've got the program for you. Today, we're going to be going over webcam motion capture. Now, I'm going to try to make this as easy as possible for everybody. I'll be going through the steps that I went through to set up the program for normal recording use and how you can set this up in VC face for use in streaming. This is going to be a step by step guide, but as I'm new to this whole thing, I'm sure there's going to be some things that I'm going to forget. If you have any questions that I didn't get to, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get to every one of them that I can. So without further ado, let's get started. I'll be leaving some information in the description box below as far as timestamps go. But first things first, let's talk about what this actually is. So webcam motion capture is a program that is still in development. So there are some bugs to it, but what it allows for you to do is to track your motion entirely using just your webcam. As you can see, it does pretty well with individual finger tracking. I can count up, I can do symbols and signs and stuff like that. So it's actually pretty good when it comes to that. Now the setup itself is very simple and it can be fairly quick as well but I'm gonna walk you guys through it to show you how to set up for yourself so that you can start using it and exploring it for yourself. So let's go ahead and get into that. So the first thing we'll wanna do is get the file downloaded. Follow that link in the description so you can grab a copy of Webcam Motion Capture. Now you can download it here for the free version, which lets you test all the features. That way you can learn more about its use and make sure that it fits your setup and what you're wanting to go for. Now this version does have a large watermark on it because it is the free version. This is not a free software. It is subscription based. If you hop down here, you'll see the details about the subscription. It's about $2 a month and you get all the features and access to future updates. To me, it's totally been worth it to have this hand tracking, but of course that doesn't work for everybody. So just be aware of that going in. Where you'll want to start is right here. Just click this. It'll pull up for you to download it it'll download this zip file right to your computer. And it'll take a little bit to download and we'll take care of the next steps once it is. All right, once you've got your files downloaded, pull up wherever you left them at. I just right click, extract files and extract them right here. Once you click into the file folder, you'll see this file here, webcam motion capture.bat. When you click on this, it'll open two separate applications. One will be your webcam motion tracking where you can see the points that it tracks on your body. And the second is going to be the actual representation of the avatar you will see. So I'm gonna get that opened up. That way you guys can take a look at it. However, of course, this avatar will be disappearing as you will see one on the screen once it's ready. The one you wanna pay attention to is this one here. Now, as you can see, I'm already subscribed. So I've got my login information here and ready to go. What we're going to go to so that you guys can see it is the try for free version. Now it takes a little bit longer for the webcam to load than the actual program. So the webcam for me is still loading. While it is, you'll see this T-Posed avatar. This is just the base avatar that people can use to begin to explore. So let's let the webcam load up and then we'll explore a little bit more about the application. Okay, so the webcam is loaded up. And as you can see for right now, I am this avatar. I've still got access to my motion tracking so you can get a feel for kind of the basics of it. But overall, it's just a completely different character. So let's fix that, shall we? To get your own avatar loaded in, you'll want to go to load VRM up here in the right hand corner and you have your choice of all the models that you have. Let's go for this one. Takes a bit to load in, but once it does, you'll notice you're probably a little bit out of position. So what you're going to want to do is reposition them with the sliders that you'll see in the upper right. The height is the one we'll want to edit here. So we're just going to bring ourselves right on down to that. Now, for now, it is tracking through the webcam. This is just like you would see in BC face to fix this. You can go to receive external blend shapes. And once you do the very first option you have, is wide IO. I think this is the only option for now. I'm sure there's more to come later, but with wide IO, 
it is now tracking the facial capture through my iPhone, but still allowing me to have full motion capture ability through the application. Uh, you can also control the distance with the slider so you can see the full body or zoom in unreasonably close. The about here should do for us. And you can look up or down to kind of tilt your avatar, look around to turn them around if you need to. So you've got all sorts of options you can really work with here and you can edit those to your liking. If I can get it back to zero, that'd be perfect. Not quite this dude, there we go, perfect. But as you can see, there's this large watermark here, which is of course gonna be for the unsubscribe so that you can see and explore, but you can't you know, really get the full thing going with that. So I'm gonna hop out of here and hop into the subscribed version so we can get back to taking a look at some of the fixes we can do. So now that you've got your avatar loaded in and placed, let's talk about some of the features that you can do using this application. Um, let me move this to a more manageable space. Perfect. Uh, you'll see me looking over because I'm looking over at my other screen for it. But uh, yeah, so now that you've got it loaded in, you can see your avatar, you can see it moving around, you can explore some of the features, kind of see how they work. Uh, you'll not see me below because of course I'm up here. Now, a couple of the features in here that you can use. We've already gone over the load VRM. You can also load an image as your background. You'll see that here in the top right. You can even set a specific color background. That way you can put your avatar up against a green screen should you need to for any sort of recording uses. So basically just keep that part in mind. But let's exit that. Let's go to color our images for now. So we've got our image background, so we're good to go on that. The next part we'll look at here is the body filtering. Now the body filtering is gonna control kind of how your motion works. So I just want you guys to take a look. Holding this same hand as steady as we can. If we go all the way to the top, our body tracking is not really all that great. It's kind of slow. However, if we go all the way to the bottom, it's extremely jittery and it looks like we're shaking all over the place. You can play with the slider to find your desired body motion. Mine is usually somewhere from between about 75 to about 82. Uh, let's settle at about 80. I think that should work for now. But you can you know, play with that to see what works best for you. You can mirror your motions if you need to or keep them as they are, whatever works best for you. As you can see, I've on this particular model, I have my face filter set to track from wide IO. Now you can also control how much your facial features move. There is all the way to the top where you really don't get any movement at all. As you can see, you can go all the way to the bottom, which is honestly what I prefer. I need to save that one because that gives you the full motion that you can normally get through wide IO. You can also settle somewhere in the middle if perhaps your model is too expressive and you need to be a little bit less so. Completely up to you. For that, um, you just wanna check this to receive the external blend shapes to stream off to wide IO or uncheck it and you get the normal face streaming coming from your webcam. Now for that one, I would definitely advise to turn your face filtering a little bit up. You can see how it looks here. All the way up is still nothing, but about the 50s gets you a good, pretty good tracking there. Of course, I'm always gonna prefer the external tracking through wide IO. Once you have all these things set, you can actually save a number of presets. You can set the window size to what you need it to be, especially if you're gonna be streaming, so you can change the resolution as you need. And then you can save up to five different user settings so that you can pick between the two in case you need to quick swap. Load them here, save them here, whatever you need to do to get that particular portion set. You'll notice this bar right up here, up top, the normal mode, which is what I'm in now, where you can see how it's just streaming to you all, and then they're sent to external app, which is what we'll use to get to VC face and things like that. So let's show that. All right, so now that we've gone over all the settings for tracking in webcam motion capture, let's go over how we transport that from here to VC face so that you can use it in your streams. The first step will of course be to open VC face. With VC face open, the first thing you wanna do is change your camera. You'll have, of course, your other options, but you want your camera to be open C face tracking. Set your microphone to what it needs to be and leave these two blank. Then you pick your avatar. Click start. As you can see, I have my secondary tracking still going to wide IO, but I have this still body because my webcam is being used 
by the webcam motion capture. So here's how we fix that. Go to settings and general settings. Head down to your OSC slash VMC receiver and click on that. This will put your model into a T pose. Now it's also not tracking my face anymore because of that checkbox, but I'll show you how to fix that. Okay, so now that you've got the steps done in VC face, you're going to want to be able to send your information from webcam motion capture over to VC face. What you'll do for that is you'll change this from normal mode up here over to send to external app. You'll see that over in this direction, you now have an IP address and a port number. Leave the IP address the exact same. The port number you can edit, but you shouldn't need to for now. I'm gonna pull them up side by side so you can see what it looks like when you get it set. So over here, you can see that VC face is now ready to track the model and everything has been set with our settings there. So we're good to go. All we have to do over here is click start. All right, so now that you're tracking in VC face, you can use VC face just like normal to begin tracking all the things over and tracking from here and the webcam motion track over here to VC face which makes things extremely useful for you. You can now use the VC face transparent backgrounds, the virtual camera, or whatever else you might need to get your streaming started. If you click stop, it will simply stop tracking over here. Start again, tracks, pick, tracking picks right back up. To have this, and it gives you this kind of tip here, to, if you hide the UIs, you'll reduce your GPU usage. So once you have it here, my suggestion is to start tracking, hit the space bar, which removes all of this, you'll see that now I'm sitting still over here, which has reduced the usage on my computer and the strain on my computer. So I'll be able to use VC face more easily um, while keeping me good to go over here. You can use your transparency and bam, just like that, I'm ready to stream now. Now, personally, and this is just a personal thing, I prefer to leave my wide IO tracking going to VC face. I found that that just gives me a bit better tracking overall when I'm looking at it. Here's how I do that. Under your settings, under general settings, you'll scroll down here and actually let me maximize this window so it's a little easier for you guys to see. Under your settings and general settings, you'll scroll down here to secondary OSC slash VMC protocol receiver. The port number will be something different, normally 39540. Um, and you can pick your port number. You have several of them to use. I changed it to 401 because that one was being unused. This means wide IO is still sending information over to my model by itself, which is very useful for me in particular, because I feel like, like I said, it tracks a bit smoother that way. However, to keep your motion capture being done through the other system, what you'll want to do is to apply the blend shapes, the eye bones, jawbone, and head and neck. However, turn off fingers, hands and shoulders, spine and chest, and lower body. Leave all of that to be tracked through webcam motion capture and the rest can be tracked through wide IO and your secondary uh, OSC slash VMC. By doing this, I think you get the best kind of operation from it and you're able to use this kind of as you, as you wish. By going this route, I have what I feel to be a comfortable setup for myself when streaming that I can still use all of my motion capture and still get the face tracking that I've been looking for and been using through wide IO having it directly go to VC face and also my motion capture directly going to VC face. And that's it. Today, we've set up a few different ways that you can track your character's motion and gotten you guys ready to stream. Uh, well, maybe not completely ready, but you're well on the way and you at least got your character track and your motion track as well. I'll be doing more videos on webcam motion capture, especially as more features come out. I'm super excited about this tech and the future that it holds. I'll also be looking for other tech that VTubers can use to improve the quality of life and use going forward. So drop a subscribe and follow me as I learn more and hopefully you guys learn more along the way with me. Feel free to drop any questions you have in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get to as many as I can. However, you can also engage with me on any of my socials, which will be left below in the description somewhere. And I'll also put it somewhere at the end of the video for you guys to find. I am having a ton of fun with this program and I really hope that you guys do too. But until then, I hope you all have a great day, a wonderful life. This is Kukakuna, signing out. See ya.